Please. President Biden had been due to outline a winter plan for dealing with COVID before the discovery of the Omicron variant. But the president appeared hopeful that even those reluctant to get vaccinated were changing their minds now. There's some evidence in one poll, I won't mention it because I'm not positive of the number, I was told this as I was leaving the White House, that um, there is an expectation that 30% of the non vaxxers and under no circumstances would I get a vaccination because of the new variant are now saying I'm going to get a vaccination. Biden is vowing an approach based on what he calls science and speed and not chaos and confusion. The underlying principle of his winter plan to make resources available to prevent another lockdown. It doesn't include shutdowns or lockdowns, but widespread vaccinations and boosters and testing and a lot more. In order to ensure the 100 million eligible Americans who have yet to get a booster shot do so, they will be contacted and availability ensured. Hundreds of family vaccination clinics will be opened where all eligible age groups can be vaccinated at the same time and mobile vaccination clinics will be sent to underserved areas. To prevent school closures, the Centers for Disease Control will release their findings on whether it's possible to test all students on site instead of sending them home after a COVID case is reported. Home testing kits will be covered by health insurance or provided free for those without insurance. The number of surge response teams, medical staff who can be deployed into areas where medical resources are being strained by the virus will be increased. Biden is pledging to speed up delivery of the vaccines it has promised to the developing world. And travelers to the US will be required to be tested within a day before departure instead of three days. The mask mandate on public transportation will be extended into March. Some scientists and the World Health Organization have argued that the case for boosters for the entire adult population, and not just those particularly at risk, simply hasn't been made. Nor is there evidence as yet that boosters increase protection against Omicron. The WHO argues that to prevent further variants, the priority should be to get vaccines to the developing world. I call on all member states to choose to achieve our targets of vaccinating 40% of the population of every country by the end of this year and 70% by middle next year. Something Biden didn't announce was requirements for vaccination for domestic air travel, a measure that some argue will further nudge the US's unvaccinated eligible adults to get the shot. But at a time of nationwide legal wrangling over vaccination mandates in the workplace, that would clearly be a hard sell for some. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.